Oh, how's it going, everyone? Myron here. It's been a uh, been a while since I made a vlog style video like this, but uh, big news for Olimar. It's really good that I felt you know is worth talking about, and I've had a lot of people ask. So hopefully, this help clears things up for those that don't know. So right now it's December eighteenth. Um, yesterday, Sephiroth was mm, early released, if you will. But long story short. They, when they added him, you know, they updated the game to version 10.0. And in doing that, you know, uh, game changes are made. And normally, Nintendo will put out balance, uh, like, patch notes for those characters they change whenever they do. This time, though, they didn't add any patch notes, at least for the 10.00 um, patch. So most people thought there were no changes. Uh, however, as per, I guess, tradition at this point... Um, people get to testing, uh, all of our players included, you know, every patch we like to go through and see are any of our glitches fixed or any of, you know, things changed because in the past, uh, Nintendo has done that. And, uh, well, they did something, uh, good, honestly. Um, as of right now, there are three big things that have been, uh, essentially removed from the game bugs slash glitches that have been taken out of the game and I kind of want to give you a brief understanding of what those are right now so the first one is the up B glitch and it has been present this glitch I think might be the longest running um, glitch throughout the Smash series and I say that's because because it's been in two games it was in Smash 4 from the launch uh, and it was in Smash Ultimate until yesterday and that glitch is <clears throat> whenever Olimar, uh, whenever Olimar up B's normally, you can cancel your up B with an aerial attack, right? So you attack, you up B, maybe you want to up air. So you do it, it attacks. Well, there was a glitch where if Olimar's Pikmin, if Olimar had a Pikmin, let me rephrase that. If Olimar had a Pikmin on the ground, either because he smash attacked with a forward smash, it fell off the opponent, he side beat it, whatever it was, it didn't matter, right? As long as it was on the ground, if you up beat and tried to do an aerial, even if you were carrying, you know, other Pikmin, as long as you did a Pikmin attack, so anything but a neutral air, it would always whiff. Even if you had Pikmin on you, it would always whiff. And in this new patch, that does not happen anymore. The up B works consistently as long as you have Pikmin in your lineup, and that's really big. You know, the for pretty much two games now, uh, Olimar couldn't attack out of his up B in a couple situations where I felt it was pretty important. Uh, the main one being advantage, you know, maybe you're comboing someone with an up smash or something, you got them up in the air, and you have a Pikmin on them to do more damage, and sometimes it can fall off, and because it falls off, you just have to cut your combo short, or your, your advantage state short, because you can't up air, because it will whiff, and now that doesn't happen anymore. Um, as well as when you're recovering, you can throw Pikmin, and now reliably use your aerials out of up B while you're landing. So there's just a lot smoother gameplay form, and that's the kind of the reoccurring theme with all of these um, adjustments they made to him this patch. They make it just... The quality of life of him has increased a lot, and he's much better to play, much smoother, and it just feels really good. Um, the next big one is the Pikmin death reordering, for lack of a better phrase, um, glitch which would occur, which, to put it simply, meant if Olimar... Um, if a Let's say I have two Pikmin in my line, right? I have a red and a yellow. I throw a red right in front of Roy, for this example. I throw the Pikmin right in front of Roy. It misses him, right? It's on the ground. And then I run up to forward air him, right? If he down tilts that red Pikmin, or if he hits that red Pikmin and kills it, when I go to swing, if the timing lines up, which it did enough to be noticed, um, if you swing an attack around the same time that a Pikmin died, the dying Pikmin would become first in your line briefly and it would force your attack to whiff because you would try and attack with a dead Pikmin. So there's a lot of examples where I try and punish somebody when they had a Pikmin on them and they'd hit it, but because they killed my Pikmin, it would make my following attack whiff. Uh, and that was really bad because Olimar, you know, thrives off of punishing his opponent for hitting his Pikmin, putting them in situations where they kind of have to choose the lesser of two evils. So that was really rough. But thankfully, you know, they fixed that. Um, and now you're able to punish people accurately, no matter what the Pikmin dies, as long as you have one in your lineup, it will attack. And that was really good. <clears throat> and then finally, the other big one, this one a little bit less uh, important, uh, or I guess less well-known, or 
uh, was when you would forward smash previously, there was, you know, each pick, Pikmin have their own individual lag separate of Olimar when they attack. So he would, you would forward smash, you know, and then if I was to pluck another Pikmin to attack and then forward smash again, nothing would come out because it would still try and use that Pikmin that I just forward smashed with initially. So it would kind of like force you into using the Pikmin stuck in forward smash sometimes. Um, and that made it kind of hard to attack only when you have one Pikmin because then you can't attack with another Pikmin attack. And long story short, they made it so now when you attack with the forward smash, even if you pluck another one to do that, it's going to it's gonna naturally go over to the new Pikmin in your line. So another quality of life improvement that kind of just makes them smoother. Um, and these are the three big ones that kind of take place. And to me, this is a good sign for a lot of reasons. Um, because it means, one, the character works way better. Like, it's just things are better. You can go for things more reliably. You don't have to worry, is this going to work? Is my Pikmin going to die? Am I going to whiff? You're just able to play your character better, and that's really good. Um, and, and there is potentially more uh, to be discovered. You know, there's some rumblings as of right now. I'm not 100% sure if they're confirmed. That Whistle might have been slightly mechanically changed to be a little bit better at distinguishing which Pikmin to grab and which one to put in front of your line so it doesn't try and use ones that are useless. Um, and things like that, and maybe it might have fixed the issue where sometimes purple Pikmin will fall out of your line and it takes two or three whistles or a jump. Uh, that's to be determined. But as of right now, we have three rather impactful uh, glitches slash bugs that are just gone, and the characters are able to play a lot better. And that's that's really good. That means Nintendo is aware of these things, because um, to someone who doesn't play Olimar, you just don't, or it doesn't play against an Olimar, you know, you're, you're not going to notice these. This is a targeted fix for a character that has had problems in Ultimate for a couple years and even with one of them going back years after that, where they, they were able to finally recognize or they find it, you know, found it with their time or whatever to fix it, and that's good. Um, you know, myself and quite a few other Olimar players are rather loud about advocating these things. So that's really good on that end. Um, what I do want to kind of follow up with, though, is that Olimar does still have a couple issues that are in a similar realm of quality of life and performance affecting that I think we can still advocate to bring light to. I don't want to downplay the importance of these, but it, to me, this showed that if they want to, if they're, they're willing to fix certain issues, we should continue to make our other ones known so that we can have a character that functions well. You know, this is, isn't so much an option or a, a opinion on balancing or how viable he is. It's just letting his moves function in a way that allows him to play the game consistently which is a luxury that a lot of characters have, and he's not one of them. So I, I do recommend, you know, everyone who's voiced their opinion before, keep doing it. You know, we have um, the hashtag fixing the Pikmin now, uh, run, and the Twitter account of the same name that helps consolidate a lot of that effort. We reach out to the proper channels the best we can. Just keep, you know, sharing these things, retweeting the things that point them out, and hopefully one day, maybe down the line, we'll get more, more fixes for the captain. Um, just to briefly wrap up where I think this will affect his gameplay. I don't think it's going to make him like crazy, you know, like top tier or anything. I already thought he was kind of on the bottom end of top tier. Um, but I think this helps cement him in those spots better and function as he should. Because when Olimar is able to function well and he can do his job right, he's a real, real strong character, even, you know, post uh, balancing changes. So I think he's still very good. And this will kind of just let the Olimar players do their job better and not get, blocked by the game kind of telling them no instead of their opponent. Um, so, great spot for him. I don't think he's going to make any massive changes. He's just going to kind of reinforce what the Olimar players were doing to begin with. But overall, great stuff. I think we should just you know keep getting the information out there, sharing the glitches or whatever there is with him. Maybe one day we'll have like a, a perfectly working Olimar, well-oiled machine. Uh, just keep letting Nintendo know. But those are my thoughts on it. Bug fix is great. I'm really happy Nintendo finally listened. It felt like for so long, every patch or every other patch was like, Olimar got hurt this way, or they broke this, or they nerfed that. So it's just refreshing to go, here's this. No no downside. Your character's better. He just works properly. Um, so yeah, just a little off-the-top thoughts in a vlog. Um, just happy to see some, some good Olimar gameplay coming out of this. But uh, thanks for watching, guys.